Alright, so today at Hayes Garage, we are going to be taking the diamond drive out of this 2006 Articat M7. Um, I just picked this up recently, and I want to do some maintenance on it. Uh, so, this one actually has different clutching. It's got an aftermarket clutch for its primary. It's got, I'm pretty sure it's a driven clutch with a um, BDX shift kit in it for its secondary clutch. Um, it's clutch to run for like sea level, 1,000 feet, because we're not in the mountains here. So we are going to take the diamond drive out of this. Um, we're going to take this clutch off, belt off, and the diamond drive is back here. Um, so it's a planetary drive, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what we need to take this all apart. Okay, so what we're going to need to take the diamond drive out of this mobile. So I like to use an impact. This is a new DeWalt one. I love this thing. It's awesome. You're going to need probably rubber mallet, like this little guy, uh, pry bar, some extensions, 3 8 drive um, ratchet, um, a brush for cleaning your stuff off, a half inch socket, a 16 mil socket, a 5, 5 16 Allen head, and some parts clean for cleaning everything up. So that's what you need for taking it apart. Um, so we gotta take off the secondary clutch first. It's an Allen up in here that we pull out and then the whole thing should just come off. And then we should be able to get to the act, which is back here. Alright, so that's how these drives come off. Um, you just take out that big Allen that's in there and it's right all the way down here and that's a spline and so is this. And then the whole thing just slides right off. Um, so then here is our diamond drive. You can see right there. So we gotta pull this off. I think you gotta take that. I think you gotta take the nut off on the other side on the brake. And then the whole thing should just come off. Everything here looks good though. This bearing looks nice and tight. A little bit of backlash, which is normal. It's like a pretty new gasket here belt junk everywhere um so also my speed sensor is not working because my speedometer is not working it's an electronic one so we're going to figure that out i think this is it right here so maybe it just has a cut wire hopefully if not i guess i got a whole new speed sensor and it goes in there somewhere Okay, so we took off um, six nuts on these studs. It was a, it's a half inch um, socket. So I pulled those off, and we're gonna go to the other side, and we're gonna undo the nut on the shaft. I think it's a nut, might be just a whole bolt on the uh, brake rotor. Undo that, and then we should be able to pry this off of the tunnel. And then take it right out, and then that'll split it so we can see how everything's doing in there, and then uh, change out the fluid. So let's go to the other side. Take that apart. Okay, so we're on the other side. Here's the brake. This one's kind of grody looking. I uh, probably have to replace this one. So it's a 16 that goes on here. And we're going to bust this loose. And I think it's a shaft. We'll see. Okay, got some pry bars. Let's um, see what we can damage here. There we go. Okay. Kind of like that. So I'll just kind of work it out. Ah, like that. Okay, so there's our diamond drive. Okay, so we have diamond drive out here. We are going to take it apart. So we take all these out. Um, and it's supposed to be like three ounces. Of fluid in it. Oh, there's a drain. Let's drain it real quick and see. There'll be three ounces of fluid in this diamond drive, which is like nothing. So we'll drain it and um, we'll see what it looks like. Oh, 
it's pretty close to three ounces, so it's probably good. It's not getting any moisture or anything in it. Well, we're gonna clean it off and then split it to, to take a look at it, make sure everything's okay. And then fill it back up. Now we're just gonna hit it with some brick clean, scrub it, and then then some card cleaner. I'm gonna try not to get it in any of the seals. Put some stuff in it. Okay, so now we're going to take off all these uh, Torx screws here. I'm going to split the case in half. Oh, okay, so it's on pins, so you got to make sure that it comes up nice and straight. Um, so here's a pin here, and there's one on the other side. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to come apart. Two privates, one there, one there. And one of this. Pry it right open, right like that. Silicone here. Doesn't look too bad. It just sits in there. We'll have some stuff in there. We'll clean this all out. Very feels good. That one feels good. So this is the uh, okay, that's the inside of the planetary. Yeah, it's got some metal shavings on it. Uh, okay, planetary is held in by your snap ring, which is good, so nothing will fall out. Uh, this ring right here. Yeah, so that's how you take it apart. Alright, so next step is we're going to clean all this stuff. Um, probably maybe take the planetary out. I don't know. We're going to clean it all, and then we're going to put it back together. And I'm gonna check and see if the sensor is working or not. We'll check that too and see see if there's something wrong with it. Um, so. I think I'm going to clean it with the brake clean and carb cleaner. The typical. Clean everything, make sure there's no remnants of junk in it. And put it back together and fill it up. Uh, this takes three ounces of oil, so I'm actually going to use some oil right here. I'm going to use the Schaefer's 15W40. This is good synthetic stuff. I use it in my diesel truck, so we're going to use that. I think that's a good one. Alright, so apparently this is an Articat speed sensor. I don't know if mine's bad or not. I have a hard time getting like actual ohm reading off of it. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to stick it back in. It actually isn't even inside of it. It goes right in this little spot, which is kind of interesting. And then it goes out. So it doesn't actually sit inside of the, the gearbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back together. Put this back on. Put our silicone on it, seal it all up, get it back in the sled. Um, it's been kind of snowing out, so maybe we'll have some snow to ride it tomorrow and see if we can blow it up. <laughs> okay, so now um, sounds kind of. I am going to measure out three ounces of oil because when I put it in here, it leaked some out and it wasn't really enough to quantify anything. So I'm gonna put. Three ounces in here, which is literally nothing. Um, I'm going to tip this back like this. Put this here. Handy dandy stand underneath it. Uh, 
Alright. Now I gotta go find a funnel and we're gonna pour ourselves a funnel and it's too big but it'll work until clean out. Alright, so let's go ahead and pour our three ounces in here. Uh, yep, yeah, we're just gonna snug this up, clean it off. And um, before we stick it in, we'll let the uh, stuff set up in it. Alright, it is next day. Um, it's absolutely freezing outside. I think it's like five degrees out. Uh, we got the fire going in the garage. So we're gonna put the diamond drive back into this M7 that we're working on. Um, so it's gonna go back right here, right where it was at. Show you guys how to do that and then how to put your belts back on and get everything adjusted correctly. All right, so I put a little bit of lube on the shaft and it's gonna slide in there. Okay, so we got the six nuts on the studs. Um, I just use my impact, impact them on. You know, obviously hand start them, get them thread out a few, and then just kind of work around the start pattern to get them on. Uh, I got them on pretty snug. Uh, they are a half inch socket, so don't forget that. Works a lot better than the 13 like I was trying to do before. Um, so now we're gonna put our secondary on with the belt. Um, don't forget to put this piece back in here. I think it's like stuck in there and it pops around this. Here. Probably so. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna slip this in the belt like so, and then I'm going to stretch it. Okay, just like that. And you get everything slid in there. Uh, this is our Allen bolt. That goes in the center. Uh, I don't know what size it was. It was this size. It's a 5 16 Allen. I'm going to try and align the clutches here. Okay. Feels pretty good. Let's go over. We're going to tighten up the, uh, uh, the uh, bolt on the other side. Okay, this is the shaft for this side. So we're gonna send this through. And then, spin it on to the diamond drive on the other side. This thing was a 16 millimeter socket. together pretty good and that is how you take off and check your diamond drive